Hello and welcome to another episode of I Got a Cosmetic Procedure Done in a Foreign Country to Save Money. I'm your host, Rachel Rosette. Do, 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 do. Okay, but seriously, did you like that theme music? <laughs> okay, now I've talked about this before and if you check out this video here, this is when I explained a few months ago that I was going to get a couple procedures done. So one of those procedures was going to be veneers, not turkey teeth. I know that whenever you hear the word veneers, people typically think of shaving your teeth down to like shark teeth and just like ruining your teeth. This is not what that was, okay? So the procedure that I had done with my veneers is they shaved a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of my teeth off, just very, very little, minuscule, to slide over a porcelain veneer, which you can see footage of here. And what they do is it's really safe. It keeps most of the enamel there so that way it just slides over the top. And if for whatever reason in the future I decided I hated them, I wanted to take them out, which won't happen because they look great, then I could absolutely do that. Now this is a decision that I made because I had always been really self-conscious about my smile. Why you might ask? Well, couple of reasons. Number one, my teeth were crooked. My teeth, I mean like pretty much one major tooth that really freaked me out. Now, if you go back and look at past videos of me, you're probably like, Rachel, I can't tell. You know why? Because lighting and angles. I'd always put my face like this because it was this tooth right here. And I always angled, I always made sure the lighting wasn't hitting on it. So I used camera tricks because I didn't want anybody to notice. I had done Invisalign twice and my tooth moved back. So getting my tooth to stay straight was a huge issue for me. Another thing that made it really difficult is that my teeth didn't like to whiten very well. So I would make my teeth so sensitive doing white strips. I paid for the dentist to whiten my teeth, all of these things, and they would be okay. But something about my teeth is that they had more of like a grayish tint. So they weren't necessarily like yellow or looked bad or anything. It's just that they wouldn't really white and all that well, like that beautiful Hollywood smile. And that was also the appeal of veneers to me that you could have a really white smile that would never fade. Granted, you take care of it because it still means you gotta like brush your teeth and floss and all that stuff, which who flosses really anyway, but at least brush your teeth. So the experience was super, super easy. So the doctor that I used, he was in Brazil in Balneário Camboriú and his name was Dr. Gabriel Gotten, and he was amazing. Loved him, loved him, loved him. He even speaks English, which was great, but he was just so sweet, made the process really nice, and was always really careful about making sure that I liked my teeth at every step of the process. Also, getting veneers is painless, at least with the amazing dentist that I had, because what they do is, if your teeth are a little bit more sensitive, you know, kind of shaving down the teeth can be a little uncomfortable. Luckily for me, I didn't have too much sensitivity, so I was fine. But for other patients, if they are feeling really sensitive, they can even just give you a little numbing shot in your mouth, which literally doesn't hurt at all, because I had that at a different time. Doesn't hurt at all, because they numb you before with like some numbing cream. And then that way you don't feel anything. The whole, procedure itself took about just in I broke it up into days because I was really busy I didn't have time to just sit down and do it all at one time but we were able to get it done in a couple days but if you had just sat down done it all at one time it would be like four to five hours um, of just sitting there getting your teeth worked on so bring a good audiobook bring music fall asleep. I wish that I could fall asleep. It was just so loud with like the drilling and the putting teeth on and kind of like a thing in your mouth so it's uncomfortable. So it's not like I really slept a lot <laughs> or at all. Uh, but I wish that you could because that would make it a lot easier. But it was just a really good experience and I just realized that I had never done an update on what that actually looked like. So if you have any questions about the procedure, what was done, how the after is, 
then please leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe because I do a whole lot of these procedures. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.